So I've noticed with the Jasmine Token family that it's a split crowd, all right? You got the crowd that's very, very bullish on Jasmine. They understand the development, the utility, and everything that's being built in the ecosystem. But then you got that split of the crowd that's highly speculative of Jasmine and very, very concerned about what's going on with Jasmine, the connection between Jasmine, the company Jasmine Labs, and how Jasmine Coin will actually be utilized. So in today's video, we're going to be covering um, how Jasmine Coin could possibly be utilized. Make sure that you guys like, subscribe, or hit that notification bell. Help push these Jasmine awareness videos out there, man. We need to get the right information out there, and also consider checking out some of the links in the description. But let's get into this Jasmine Chain news that we got here from Hara himself family you can see uh Hara just posted this so layer two of Jasmine will be launched with the token 2049 we are developing a personal data locker that identifies data and functions as a DID for the individual Jasmine tokens that will be circulated on a global exchange and a network that connects these tokens we have received support from a number of world-class partner companies world-class partner companies take that in mind so we know uh that jasmine is uh developing a layer two the jasmine chain right um the jasmine uh, uh chain layer two scaling solution right is a blockchain platform that democratizes data by combining blockchain iot technology to provide data security and it has been announced that it will be launching its own blockchain called jasmine chain now this is extremely important because if you do not know that jasmine originally was an erc20 token right so the fact that they're developing their own chain this is big just think about all the projects that went parabolic in the prior bull runs most of them have their own chain their own blockchain they're not specifically um uh, they're not specifically built or dependent should i say dependent upon ethereum or binance casper for example you ever went to a, a coin market cap and you went to go look at a contract and you're like wow i can't get this contract on uniswap or i, I can't get this contract on bnb only way i can buy this contract is through the platform is actually was launched on or through a centralized exchange well family that's because that project specifically has its own blockchain and that's what you want to see from a thriving project a project is not depending uh, on Binance, BNB, or even um, Ethereum, which is huge because <laughs> we know BNB is the largest holder. And there's been some concerns that, you know, BNB could possibly drop that bag, sell that bag, get rid of that bag because of them putting Jasmine in the innovation zone and now the monitoring zone. So you know, we'll have to continue to monitor um, Binance in the bag. I told you guys that Binance has been slowly selling off. I haven't checked the Ether scan in a while, so that's something that I'll probably check later on today. But I want to focus on on how Jasmine is being utilized. Their biggest harp is that Jasmine chain will not be actually utilized within the ecosystem, meaning that the company, the Jasmine company, is a total different entity from the Jasmine coin. Well, as I look more into the Jasmine coin, right, I went and looked, I looked into the white paper here, and um, I actually got the PowerPoint um, pulled out, and uh, this is in the 5.5 section here. It says, the token can also be used by an unspecific number of individuals and businesses to transfer tokens using digital devices, such as smartphones, laptops, as a proof of value exchange or payment for assignments and services. By not limiting its purpose, the token can be widely used. Now, what does that mean um, in context, right? I'm saying that to say this, that you cannot utilize Jasmine's ecosystem without having the Jasmine coin, right? That's what makes it have its use case and utility. For instance, a lot of people argue that Shiba Inu can't be used um, in Shibarium because there isn't a direct utility. You have to use Bone. So Bone would be the utility token for Shibarium. Well, here you have it, right? Which is which is crazy because um, I would have to do more research on token 2049 and see if that's actually the utility token for Jasmine Chain. It kind of clicked in my head, like hopefully they're not using token 2049 as the utility token because then that would be similar to Shibarium. But for the sake of the video, we're just specifically talking about the Jasmine ecosystem. So to put that into context, 
if you wanted to monetize your data or if you wanted to protect your data through a data locker, right? You would have to use Jasmine to interact with the ecosystem. So you cannot use Jasmine services without having the Jasmine coin. A lot of people do not know this. You cannot use the services family without having the Jasmine coin. Vice versa, businesses, right? They can't utilize your data that Jasmine is storing without having Jasmine token, right? And you get Jasmine tokens in return for your data. So that's how you monetize your data. So you see how the Jasmine coin actually does have any utility. And a lot of people, um, that's been the biggest thing I've seen in the comments. People actually argue that, well, Jasmine, the Jasmine Labs, the, the Jasmine company is totally separate from Jasmine. And it has, and this is coming specifically from the white paper. So if they don't execute the way that white paper, then, then that's criminal, right? <laughs> that's criminal. This is coming specifically from the white paper. This is not just my opinion. And, I, and it, so many times in the comments, people are like, oh, well, do you, for instance, well, do you really know that Jasmine is going to lock up? I'm just going off what's in the white paper, right? You know, most of the crypto is speculation. I, I, I can't give you a, a timeline ex exactly when we're going to get a Q4 lockup. And I actually don't like the people that's out there putting dates saying, oh, it's happening this month or next month. Let's just wait till it happens because we know that there's a possibility. And then we can speculate on what the lockup could potentially become usage scene for the jasmine coin right so most individuals and enterprises can exchange the coins via smartphone computer and other electronic devices as value consideration payments to prove the various services therefore according to our ids the use purpose will not be limited and we will allow more people to use such coins in a wider range jasmine coin has the following functions in the ecological system the enterprises need to pay services fees for the use of the Jasmine platform that right here in front of your face. Like some people just need to do research, right? I'm going to repeat it again for the people in the back. And again, this is, this is not me being a moon boy for Jasmine. Frankly, I'm not a moon boy for any cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency itself has its pros and cons. But what I am doing is I'm pointing the, out the facts posted here by the white paper. Now, if Jasmine doesn't execute, right? Then that's on them. But again, let's let's repeat it. The enterprises need to pay service fees for the use of the Jasmine platform, and such service fees will be paid in the form of the Jasmine coin. The enterprises should pay Jasmine coin as considerations while using the personal information or other corporate inter information. The Jasmine coin obtained by individuals from the disclosure of individual information to enterprises can be used to exchange the equivalent goods or services on the platform of the Jasmine operator. So you have it here from the horse's mouth. You cannot utilize the Jasmine ecosystem without holding the Jasmine coin. So everything that they're building, all, all building, all this beautiful technology, right? You won't be able to access it without having Jasmine coin. So I, I want... I wanted to make that clear uh, to everybody inside the family and to piggyback on something that that I've been doing research as far as the Jasmine, um, the, the Jasmine uh, 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 lockup, Q4 lockup right here. OK, I'm sorry. I kind of like lost lost track of what I was thinking. But the Jasmine Q4 lockup here, you can see um, I did edit the circulating supply here, family, to thirty three point four billion. So that's roughly, let's say we were at forty seven. Um, 48 billion so uh let's say 15 billion tokens get locked get locked up right so if we was able to hit one dollar if jasmine was able to hit one dollar instead of us having to reach a 50 billion dollar market cap we would only have to reach a 33 billion dollar market cap now there's been speculation that the lockup probably won't be that much it probably won't be 15 billion tokens it'll probably be less than that and to put that into perspective we can actually see right now how much 15 billion tokens uh are worth so so 15 billion tokens is about 53 million dollars okay so there's been speculation that the lockup will be anywhere between 13 billion and 15 billion tokens and you can see here for yourself 15 billion tokens will be to be about 50 million dollars locked up 53.9 which if we're talking about businesses and institutions having to lock up a portion of their 
cryptocurrency. I, I don't think that's unrealistic. I mean, fifty million dollars in crypto is you know we I know in crypto is we make it seem like it's not a lot of money, but in crypto it's really not a lot of money. So maybe it could be a possibility that Jasmine locks up fifteen billion tokens. But I just want to, like I said, I just want them make a video about how the coin is being utilized, not per se the Q4 lockup. Y'all let me know what y'all think inside the comments. Um, as you can see, we are getting a pullback across the cryptocurrency space. There's been FUD that FTX could drop Bitcoin, Ethereum, and, all, and sell off a whole lot of tokens. So maybe that FUD is starting to trickle out into the crypto space and we're starting to see a little sell-off and maybe a potential flash crash, which I've been waiting for because I've been holding out on buying more cryptocurrency, I've been waiting for a nice good flash crash going into the halving cycle. I, I told you guys, these next three to six months are important, family. They are extremely important to our livelihood. If we're gonna make it to the finish line, we need to get these next three to six months correct, all right? So y'all let me know what y'all think about Jasmine. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.